Hello students, welcome to talk on civil engineering. Let us see one example design problem on flexible payments based on IRC 37 2001. So the given data is the type of road you need to uh, construct is two lane single carriageway. So it is a two lane single carriageway and the initial traffic in the completion of cons uh, construction is 400 CV per day. So initial traffic. So initial traffic generally we denote with capital A. So it is 400 CV per day. And this traffic is in each direction. So each direction is 400. So directly we can take 400. For suppose if he has given the combination of both the directions, we have to divide by two. For example, the combination of both direction is 200 CV per day. So we have to divide with two so that we'll get each direction traffic. Or else if he has given uh, uh, each direction traffic separately that is one direction is 400 and second direction is 250 like this so you have to design separately for both directions okay or if there is uh it ended model or any direction model like a difference less than kondi up to maximum traffic team and design yes sir and over than 400 in code and 350 allow none kondi a difference less about the maximum 400 uh 400 value team and design yes sir Okay, no? so question low mark each direction traffic each other that is 400 CV per day. So we can directly take this 400 has capital A. Okay, and traffic growth rate has given that is small r is equal to 7.5 percent and design life n is equal to 15 years and VDF vehicle damage factor is 2.5 and the CBR value of soil subgrade soil is 4 percent. Firstly, we need to find out the million standard axis n capital n value so you need to remember memorize this formula 365 into a 1 plus small r whole to the power of n minus 1 divided by r so into vdf plus ldf so this is a formula you need to memorize here we have all the data required to sub to be substituted in this equation except ldf so ldf is lane distribution factor this is lane distribution. So this lane distribution factor basically you will you'll get from the type of the carriageway. So here it is two lane single carriageway. So for two lane single carriageway, so we'll we'll take value around 75%. Okay. So this this values, these recommendations are given in IRC 37 2001. Let us see those recommendations. So here this is IRC 37 2001. So you have to remember these values also. So for single lane road. So for single lane road, we uh, will be taking 100%. So for single lane road, we uh, we need to take 100%. For two lane single carriageway, so it is 75%. Okay. So for four lane single carriageway, 40%. Okay. And for dual carriageway roads, so two lane carriageway, 75% like this. And for dual three lane carriageway, uh, 60%. And dual four lane carriageway, 45%. So, so uh, you have to remember these values. So for our case, it is given two lane single carriageway. So 75% we need to take. If it is single carriageway, 100% we are you need to take. Okay. So it is 75%. So let us substitute the values. 365, A is 400, 1 plus R value is 7.5%. Uh, we need to give uh, decimals. So it is 0 0.75. N value is 15 minus 1 divided by 0 0.075. Vehicle damage factor is 2.5. Lane distribution factor is 75. That is 75 divided by 100 will be 0 0.75. Okay. So if you calculate this, you will get a value around 7.1499 MSA. MSA means million standard axis. Okay. And the CBR value he has given. The CBR value is 4%. Okay. So now we have to refer a catalog for 4% CBR and N value of 7.14 or 7.5. Let us open our IRC 37 2001 catalogs for 4% CBR. So generally in exams, uh, in BTEC exams, he will give these catalogs. So this is for CBR 2%. So we need CBR for 4%. So this is CBR of 4% and we got uh, traffic uh, MSA value of 7.15. So 
So here this is uh, this value is up to ten. Okay, that means your your value will be between five and ten MSCI. Okay, so this is catalog CBR value four percent four percent CBR chart open just now, and traffic value make mark seven point one two achindi seven point one one five. Okay. So seven point one five and five to ten to middle one together. So five to ten to middle one values man this call. Okay. So general design in the sense you need will be finding the total pavement thickness as well as individual layer thicknesses. That's it. Okay. Now let us calculate. Let us calculate based on this graph or based on this chart. So he may give chart or he may give the uh, the table as well. So first the total thick uh, total pavement thickness. So for five percent five MSA. It is six twenty for ten seven hundred. So for CBR value of four percent and traffic n value of seven point one five MSA. So total thickness, total pavement thickness. So for five five for five MSA for five MSA six twenty mm and for one seven point five we don't know. We need to find and for ten MSA the value is seven hundred. So if you interpolate the values between seven six twenty and seven hundred. You'll get a value around six fifty four point four. Let us take this value as six fifty five mm. Okay. So the total pavement thickness we got has six fifty five. So now we need to find the individual layers thicknesses. Okay. So total thickness is six fifty five mm. Okay. Now the varying course thickness, thickness of varying course. So again, for varying course, for five it is twenty five, and for ten MSA it is forty. Okay. So for five MSA, twenty five mm, and what is for seven point one five MSA? We need to find, and for ten MSA, it is forty. So just interpolate the values, you will get a value around thirty one point four five. Here you see, it it is SDBC, semi dense bitumen course, and for ten MSA, it is forty mm bitumen course. Okay, that means BC course, uh, BC layer will be much superior than SDBC. Okay, so 30 mm BC layer is okay for this. So generally, our manki value seven seven ochindi. So 31.445 mm SDBC provides you second. 30 mm BC is much superior. So and go 30 mm BC layer provides you. This is SDBC. Okay. So here thickness is 30 mm BC. So here you need to give the layer uh, uh, material type also. Okay. So now next material is next layer is binder coats. So your binder course is DBM, DBM itself in both uh, in 5 MSA and 10 MSA. So in it, uh, our layer will be DBM itself. Thickness of binder course. Okay. So for 5 MSA, it is 60, and 7.15 we need to find, and for 10 MSA, the value is 80. So if we interpolate, the value will get around 68.6. So let us take seventy mm DB M course. DB means dense bituminous material. Okay. So we got the binder course thickness as well. What is the next course? Granular base course. So thickness of granular base course. So for five MSA, what is the value? So for five MSA, it is two fifty two fifty. For five MSA and ten MSA, it is two fifty. So for seven point one five, it will be two fifty as well, right? So directly we can write the value. Or for five MSA, it is two fifty, and for ten MSA, it is two fifty. So for seven point one five, also it will be same, two fifty mm. So it is granular base layer, okay? And what is the next layer? Granular sub base. And for five MSA, it is two uh, two eighty five, and for ten, it is three thirty. So thickness of granular sub base course. So for five MSA, it is two eighty five, and for seven point one, we need to find for ten MSA, three thirty mm. So if we interpolate, we'll get the value around three zero four point three five as granular sub base layer. Okay. Now we got all the all the layer thicknesses. So at the end, at the end, just have a typical cross section, and with the thickness values. So here, this is granular subbase layer. So it, its thick, its thickness is 305 mm, and over this you have 250 mm base layer. So this is 
250 mm and over this you have a binder course of 70 mm so this is my binder course and thickness of this is 70 mm and over this i have a varying course of the surface course of thickness 30 mm yes so this is my varying course of 30 mm and the total thickness should be 655 or greater than that so how much it will be this is 100 70 plus 30 is 100 100 350 350 655 right 655 mm so our total thickness is yeah total thickness is also 655 so we got the correct value itself and this is bc layer and this is bbm layer and this is granular layer granular base and this is granular sub base okay this is binder and this is wearing okay so this is how we are going to design the flexible pavement as per irc 37 2001 purely on cbr value of soil and the traffic okay thank you all